Hello and welcome to another Watch Report video review. My name is James Stacy, and today we're taking a look at the TW Steel TW680. It's the RF1 CEO Tech. Uh, it's a quartz chronograph uh, from our friends at TW Steel. Let's take a look. So what you're getting in this is a 44 millimeter wide case. It's, it's 14 millimeters tall. It runs on the OS25 chronograph movement from Miyota. It gives you a, a standard chronograph with a 1 uh, 20th resolution. It has a date display. The case is made out of 316L stainless steel. And uh, you get a sapphire crystal with what appears to be an anti-reflective coating, which is what you see this kind of bluish haze, but that isn't listed on TW Steel's site. It's 100 meter water resistant when you have the crown screwed down and it comes on this lovely dust resistant silicone strap. This retails uh, through TW, TW Steel's partners for 750 US dollars. So on the TW680 uh, what you'll find is a great level of detail. Um, while it's not an automatic chronograph I feel it d works very hard to demand the price that it's sold for. Uh, given the high level of detail and the great level of polish uh, that you'll find on this specific watch. Uh, we can get in really close and I can show you what I mean on the dial. So as you can see the 10, 11, 12, 1, 2 are actually fully three dimensional. They raise completely up off the dial. It looks fantastic. I mean their shadows when the light hits them. Um, they're not like typical inlays or definitely not like a painted um, Arabic or numeral. It looks great. I really, really like the detail. I love the yellow uh, that matches up with the Renault F1 colors. Uh, it's a highly legible watch even though it's, it has something of a complex dial and the chronograph is as easy to use as you can imagine. Uh, there's nothing to it. Uh, this gives you your 24 hour time. This gives you your minute register. Uh, the large second hand for the full sweep of the dial is your counting seconds and the sub dial at 6 o'clock counts your 1 20th resolution and will run for the first 20 seconds. Much like this. Outside of the dial which has a really interesting depth because there's not a lot of room there but they get so much put in, uh, put in the space. Uh, you'll get this great crystal which is flush across the, uh, the bezel and then, uh, then you get this bezel. I love these star patterns that they have in here. You don't get these kind of details on a lot of dive watches, so it's interesting when I get something a little bit more uh, fashion forward in to review uh, how well these details stand out. You get uh, polished accents along the outside of the bezel, on the outside of the pushers and the crown. Uh, the one Achilles heel of this watch is there's no luminous paint. None of the yellow you see on the dial glows in any way. Um, it's a detriment to the watch in that it would have been nice to have, but realistically, given the space that's there, there wouldn't have been a lot of lasting glow, so I can see them making the decision not to put any uh, luminous paint on there. We're going to go ahead and take a look at a wrist shot. Okay, so here's the TW680 chronograph on uh, my 7.5 inch wrist. Uh, you'll see it doesn't wear too high, but 14's not dress watch thin. Um, I had no problem getting it under cuffs or sleeves of any type. And uh, with such felt styling and the closed lugs, uh, it really fits just about anything. I'm not sure how TW Steel does it uh, with this watch, but they seem to have made a watch that seems to adapt to anything uh, that you decide to wear it with. This watch is obviously fine with jeans and a t-shirt. Um, I, I think you could wear it with a suit. And uh, to be honest, with its kind of sporty styling, I, I, I don't think it would be out of place on... Uh, you know, like a flame retardant race suit. It, it looks like something you would have seen uh, an F1 driver wearing or, or uh, keeping with his person. It's got great style. You get this nice clasp, which has uh, it's assigned and it carries over that star pattern from the uh, bezel set. And I really love the rubber straps. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of rubber straps if you read, uh, read any of my reviews or seen any of these videos. Um, but this one's especially good as it doesn't seem to attract any dust. Um, which is really nice. So for Watch Report, my name is James Stacy, and you've just w watched the review for the new TW Steel TW680 RF1 CEO Tech Chronograph.